Hello at magandang araw ulit sa inyong lahat at sa video na ito ating pag-uusapan kung ano ang greenhouse effect. So, ang greenhouse effect ay kalimitan na rinig natin kapag uh, pinag-uusapan yung global warming, climate change, pagtaas ng sea level dahil uh, natutunaw daw yung mga yellow sa polar ice caps, paglala ng mga tagtuyo at pagkakaroon ng mga mas mabagsik pang mga bagyo. So, sa video na ito, ating pag-uusapan nga kung ano ang greenhouse effect, saan ba nang galing yung word na greenhouse, paano ito nangyayari, mahalaga ba ito, at bakit kalimita naririnig natin ito sa mas mang konteksto. So, first, define muna natin kung ano ang greenhouse effect. So, ang greenhouse effect, it is a process in which particular gases in the Earth's atmosphere trap the radiation na nanggagaling mula sa ating araw. Now, to better understand kung ano yung definition ng greenhouse effect. Let us go to the definition or the concept ng isang greenhouse. Now, familiar dito ang ilan sa mga plantito at plantita natin. So, ang greenhouse ay isang house-like structure na gawa sa glass ang mga dinding at bubong at dito pinapalaki yung mga halaman. So, ang concept ng isang greenhouse, first, yung radiation mula sa araw, it will pass through the glass roofs or glass walls tatama yung liwana sa mga halaman iinit yung environmental system within the greenhouse pero yung init na yon hindi siya makakalabas dahil meron tayong glass barriers with nowhere to go nandun lang yung init sa loob ng greenhouse wala siyang pupuntahan so nangyayari tuwing gabi o lalo na pag taglamig sa ibang mga bansa nananatili pa rin mainit yung loob ng greenhouse habang sa labas ang lamig-lamig. At dahil mainit pa rin yung loob ng greenhouse na sa optimal temperature pa rin, buhay pa rin yung mga halaman na pinapalaki. So, ayun ang concept ng isang greenhouse. Now, let us relate the concept of a greenhouse to the greenhouse effect. First, the radiation coming from the sun passes through the Earth's atmosphere. Tatama yung liwanag sa Earth's surface natin. Then, some of the radiation will be reflected back to outer space. But some of the radiation will be trapped and kept close to the Earth's surface. Pero, here's the question. If the greenhouse has glass that will act as barriers so that heat will not be able to escape, so ano naman pagdating sa greenhouse effect? Wala namang glass ang paligid ng mga ating mundo. So, what keeps the heat closer to the Earth's surface? Now, dito papasok yung mga greenhouse gases. So, these greenhouse gases are the particular gases which absorb the reflected radiation coming from the Earth's surface and then re-emits them back as heat or infrared radiation. Now, ilan sa mga gases na ito ay ang um, carbon dioxide, water vapor, methane, fluorinated gases like chlorofluorocarbons. Okay, now we understand kung ano ang greenhouse effect, paano yung mekanismo ng greenhouse effect, and ano yung greenhouse gases which contribute to the greenhouse effect. Now, the next question is, mahalaga ba ito? And the answer is yes. Mahalaga ang greenhouse effect. In fact, life will not be able to exist if walang greenhouse effect. To better understand, ang average global temperature ngayon ay 15 degrees Celsius. Pabuan yun, sa buong mundo na yun, uh, average 15 degrees Celsius. If walang greenhouse effect, if wala yung mga greenhouse gases na ang magiging average global temperature ay negative 18 degrees Celsius. That is 32 degrees lower than what we have right now. Hindi posible ang buhay sa ating mundo kung wala ang greenhouse gas. Ngayon, kung mahalaga ang greenhouse gas, bakit parang ang sama ng kompeso na pag naririnig natin yung greenhouse effect? Ganito kasi, noong mga late 1700s or early 1800s, uh, nagumpisa yung tinatawag na industrial revolution. Uh, dito umusbong yung iba't ibang uri ng transportation and power generation which uses energy that 
comes from burning of fossil fuels. Now, burning of fossil fuels emit carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, and also other greenhouse gases as well. So, the more you burn fossil fuels, the more carbon dioxide is produced, the more greenhouse gases is produced, and we were able to observe it increasing. In fact, there was a curve a graph which showed the increase of carbon dioxide concentration in the Earth's atmosphere every year. It was called the Killing Curve. You can observe that it is really increasing throughout the years. Now, dahil dumadami yung greenhouse gases sa ating atmosphere, dito na nakaka problema. We now have global warming. We now have climate change. Yung mga nabanggit ko kanina, o pagtaas ng sea levels dahil natutunaw na ang mga yedo sa polar ice cap. Increasing rates of extinction of flora and fauna species, paglala ng mga droughts, mga tagtuyo, paglala ng mga mababagsik na bagyo. In fact, we can actually observe right now na mas lumalakas mga bagyo and there are also faunas out there na pinapakita decades before meron pang yedo yung bundok, yung tuktok ng bundok, Pero ngayon, wala na. Wala ng yelo. So, ayun lamang. Uh, sana naintindihan nyo kung ano ang greenhouse effect. Naintindihan nyo kung paano ito nangyayari. And ano yung epekto nito sa ating mundo. To lower or stop the increase of greenhouse gases, I will be posting the next video about in which I will be giving many tips on how you can help become part of this solution. So ayun naman po, uh, sana ulit na itindihan nyo at maraming maraming salamat at paalam!